Hop and Frog is a top 100 brewer here in the US. So they do a lot of really good work. For like 10 years straight. Hop and Frog's been one of my favorites since we opened. They do a peanut butter porter, the Infusion A is so delicious um, when we fly through it. Their kegs are extremely pricey, but um, it never matters because it's right. always delicious. And then they sent us two super, super duper fancy and expensive beers. You wanna? We have the Boris, and it's an extended barrel age. It is uh, barrel age five times longer than any other barrel age and it's uh, just a traditional oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout. And then we actually have the Taurus here also, oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout, hence the name Taurus, T-O-O-R-I-S. All right, you wanna Fantastic. try the Boris first? Ready? We're gonna try the Boris. Here it is, as you can see. Cheers. Is. A little bit of lacing on it. Yes. A little chocolatey. Super, super, super. It has almost like a savory smell to it. A, a little lot bit of, of raisin. A lot of booze. My nose is a little bit congested. Raisins, so. definitely, and chocolate. Yeah, it has some nice chocolate. Mmm. Forward. Some nice whiskey. Woo. Yeah. This and definitely... it's nine and a half percent. This was actually rated the number one beer in the world. Oh dang. Uh huh. Two thousand eight. So. Well, just the barrel aged for us, mm -hmm. not the extended barrel age. But it's at, they're actually aged in Heaven Hill barrels. Oh, okay. I think that's Evan Williams, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, well, Heaven Hill owns Evan Williams. So. Okay, okay. Heaven Hill's the, the mommy or daddy. Yeah, it's very warm. It goes down smooth, actually, for how strong it is. Boozy. Yeah, it hides the booze well, though. It's mm -hmm. like a nice undertone of booze. I only taste the booze, I don't feel <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a little bit warm. Tastes good though, especially for what it is, rare. It yeah. smells boozy the more I smell it. When I started, first smelled it, it smelled more like raisins and other notes. And then uh, when I started drinking, I just smelled the booze and I could taste the flavors more. It's kind of strange. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm smelling the Taurus oh, no. now. Oh, no. Ah, yes. Not yet, uh, so not there yet. So we got the Taurus now. I believe the Taurus is 13.8%, so almost 14. 13.8%? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. But, well, obviously this was barrel aged for much yeah. longer, so that this does not have the, the booze. <clears throat> I wonder if they use some type of like fig or raisin paste for uh, like fermentation, because mm. you can, you know, all the yeast feeds off that sugar and makes it quite a bit more boozy and then you don't get as much weird taste in there as well. Mm. You know, especially for such much, high gravity beers, you know. Much what? more easy drinking to me personally than the extended oh, barrel yeah. age. Especially going from this one to this one. That had like it cuts so out a lot whiskey. of different notes and stuff like that. Once again, just a nice little bit of lacing around the glass. When yeah, these but it's poured, much darker. Oh yeah, when they poured, they had a, like a really like frothy chocolate milk head to them. Mm -hmm. So delicious. It smells a little bit boozy to me. I'm not picking up the flavors that I could in Boris. I don't know, it's definitely smooth. Mm -hmm. Especially for almost 14%. Very easy drinking, surprisingly. But I taste nothing but chocolate. And whiskey. Yeah, you don't get like all that weird raisin savory mm -hmm. notes like on the Boris. I just think it's because it's been barrel aged for so long. Yeah, and this is 14%. So. Yeah, all right. Definitely couldn't tell. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to bounce between them a little bit more. Because mm -hmm. who knows what the Boris will taste like now after, after drinking the toys. Yeah. Oh yeah, the whiskey is way more prominent mm. now. It's so much more whiskey-ish. It's like I just took a shot almost. It does 100%. So if you like whiskey in your beer, <laughs> oh, yeah. this is for you, the extended barrel age. Extend, barrel age five times longer than the regular barrel age for Oh well, yeah, and a lot of other barrel age. I don't know. I don't even think you could probably find that anywhere really. But here. 
especially, and we got another Hoppin' Frog. They sent us a special Christmas edition Frosted Frog that we have in the back, and I can't wait to try it. Oh yeah, that's We'd, really exciting too. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I like the Taurus a little bit more. The Boris was very enjoyable, you know, but after drinking the Taurus and going back to the Boris, even though it's not a strong alcohol, it definitely tastes more alcohol -y. Yes, it's just because of the barrel aging. So true barrel aged beer fans are gonna all love the Boris. Oh yeah. The extended barrel aged Boris. Or if you're you're a big whiskey or well, yeah. you, anybody, you know. I could definitely think like, of quite I'm a bit of people. I'm on the same page. Taurus for I life. I appreciate a barrel aged. Oh yeah. And I like them. But I do like a 14% beer. Right. Especially when it goes down smooth like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that's warming up a little bit, I can definitely taste more of the notes coming out. We have a lot of chocolate, a lot of coffee. And we got these nice little glasses too. These, yeah, these beers are dangerous. We probably shouldn't sell them in much more than a six ounce glass no, <laughs> at, at 14%. You know what we did not talk about? What's that? His mouthfeel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, the Taurus is real tingly, real uh, almost like coats your tongue in that like very chocolate syrupy. coffee. Yep. Oh, yeah, definitely. You could, you see it just like stains the glass. Yeah. These glasses are hard to wash after that, after our barrel see, aging. It like turns it brown. <laughs> and I mean, the Boris is- It's not, it's not, it's not as syrupy. Not at all. It must be all the amount of oatmeal's in it. I guess. I don't know. I, both of us have drank the Taurus quite a bit faster than we have drank the Boris. Yes. But yeah, so it's just extremely, extremely, especially coming back to it is so whiskey ish. And it's like, don't get me wrong, I do like some craft whiskeys and stuff like that, but I usually save that for when I'm drinking like whiskeys and not so much beer. But I know a lot of people actually that do not like stouts or beers that much, and you could turn them on to a really good bourbon barrel age or any type of Definitely. barrel age because it's literally like drinking like some type of mixed drink with and it's strong. different, and people aren't, aren't used to it, and something like the Boris or the Taurus, when you're turning people on to different beers. Do we have to say turning them on? <laughs> Can we say introducing them to? Oh yeah. When you're introducing them to different beers and new beers, especially at Twin Cade, where we have a lot of people who are excited to try new things or have never experienced craft beer before. So when you start talking to them and introducing them. <laughs> oh yeah. This is a, a really good one. Our beers are like, pretty master level, I'd say. It's not like you can come here and get uh, a Goose Island usually, mm -hmm. or like a Blue Moon or some of these other ones. So they're very good transitional beers that yeah. get you from your Budweiser, your Miller Lite into the craft beer scene, you know? Cause like when you get a Budweiser and a Miller Lite and other stuff like that, it almost has like essentially no hop profile. Right. And it's definitely nothing like a stout. So, Ooh. yeah, definitely feeling it now. I don't know, I really like the Taurus. It's very good. 100. What do you think a, a good arcade parent would be? Mm. What would you like to play and drink well, with both the Boris and the Taurus? If I'm gonna do the Boris, since I'm a Street Fighter fan, I'd probably do Mortal Kombat because I'm not as good as that. And you know, uh, it might help me. What's that called? Uh, I get so drunk I don't really care that much. <laughs> <laughs> like like yeah. your goggles? Yeah, it's just like, you know, when you lose or something, and then I'm like, I need a shot of whiskey, but no. I'll just take a sip of this instead. <laughs> it's like liquid courage <laughs> yeah. to play a game. Or, you know, hope numbs the pain. Oh my God. Puts a, bit, <laughs> puts a rough Mortal, taste in my mouth, Mortal like Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Like, why do you have a block button? Why can't you just hold back like any other? Oh, and it's right in the middle. So it's just like, if you had a finger right here, that'd be good, but it's just right in the middle, so weird. Um, and Taurus, I don't know, this is, a really nice beer. <clears throat> I would probably pair this with a, uh, since it is so strong, maybe our new Time Crisis game or a shooting game. Ooh, what about track and field? <laughs> like, take a shot, like, ah, I gotta go, go, go. Right? <laughs> Those, yeah. Those buttons get a lot of wear and tear. <laughs> sure. Somebody was telling me a secret, like with a butter knife. <laughs> oh yeah, like, or a lighter and you could go back and what forth. What are you talking yeah. about? Don't put knives on <laughs> like hey excuse me can i get a butter knife please <laughs> next thing you know we have to redo all the paint on there um but 
For the Taurus, I'd probably pay a game where you get a little bit more play out of your quarters, maybe like House of the Dead or Time Crisis where you're shooting a lot. And then when you go to pop in your token, you can go ahead and take a sip. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're not just sitting there Down drinking the whole time. Like if you do a fighting game or a different game where you're dying every 20 or 30 seconds and you're drinking and the next thing you know, you yes. drink three or, 14, <laughs> three or four or 14 percent beers. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, that's really funny. Yeah. Ah, let's do it. <laughs> let's turn it on. All right. Well, I think that's about it for oh, now. Oh, yeah. For Thanks today. for tuning in, guys. Um, just let us know what your favorite stouts are, you know, your favorite Hoppin' Frog beer. If you had anything like that, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hoppin' Frog. Hoppin' Frog. Hoppin' Frog. Hoppin frog. Hoppin frog. Ooh, yes. Yes. And we're done. <laughs>